Mike Wood steps into the center jump circle, opening tip, controlled by Duke. Slept into the backcourt into Duhon's hands. Duhon will get across the timeline, and Carolina has opened in a zone. It's a 2-3 alignment. Goes over on the wing to Reddick, right side. Reddick, one dribble. They're looking down low. They get the ball to Sanders, and weak side pass comes to Duhon. Duhon whips it over to Reddick on the right side. Down low again to Sheldon Williams. Turns on Jawad Williams. Tried to put up a shot. Misfired. Felton out with a rebound for Carolina. Takes it quickly. Front court on the left side. Pulls up on the wing. Gives it to Will Johnson. Johnson backing in. And we get an offensive foul on Will Johnson. Called by Mike Wood. Duhon right through the center jump circle. Again, Carolina sets up in the 2-3 alignment defensively. Reddick on the right wing. Back out to Duhon. Over to Jones. Dante Jones drives baseline. Puts up a right-handed shot that's no good. Tapped up no good. Sanders with a follow, and Sanders' follow left side is good. Casey Sanders makes it 2 nothing Duke in the first one minute of play. McCants goes to the right wing. Now McCants on the left-handed dribble. Works out near the center jump circle. Gives it to Jawad Williams. Duke in a man-to-man defense. Comes to Johnson. Now to Holmes. Holmes looks off. McCants wanted to give him the ball. The Duke pressure is there. McCants off to Jawad Williams. Williams driving. Fumbled the ball. Lost it. Recovered. Up the sideline he comes. Now gets it to Felton. Felton jumper. Top of the circle. Good! It's a two, and it ties the score at 2 all. Felton almost straight away at the top of the key. 2-2, 18-35 to play. Here's Reddick with a bomb from the right wing. No good. Holmes runs down the ball. Two on two break. Holmes will take it right side. Pulls up, waits on traffic. Jawad, top of the key. No good. Long rebound captured by Duhon. Flips it over to Reddick. Coming quickly right side, right in front of the Tar Heel bench to the wing. Back out front to Duhon. Duhon with a left-handed dribble. Moving left to the key. Gives it back to Reddick. He's open for a deep three and gets it. J.J. Reddick at 17 points on four of nine threes in the first game. And he makes it 5-2 in favor of the Blue Devils. Felton off to McCants. Well out on the right side against Dante Jones. McCants puts it to the floor. Starts to drive. Takes it in the lane. Lays it up. No basket. Whistle foul on Duke. Felton holds it high. Gets it midcourt area now to Jonathan Holmes. Holmes works against Reddick. Comes right side, gives it to Felton. Felton against Duhon. Couldn't get inside to Johnson. Now to Holmes. Holmes will come off the left side to Williams. Williams in the lane. Ten foot jump shot. Good. Five to four. Jawad Williams with 19 points in the first game. Has his first two this afternoon. 17.40 to play first half. Reddick right side. Out front to Duhon. Off to Jones. Long outside shot. No good. They crash the boards for the rebound. Loose ball scooped up by Sanders. Almost tied up. Gets it out to Duhon. Over to Reddick. Here's another bomb. That one's no good. It's run down by Johnson in the right corner. To Felton. Felton pushes the ball right past the scorer's table. Down the left sideline he goes. Back to a trailing Will Johnson. Johnson drops his shoulder. Drives. Feeds it off to Williams. Couldn't get the shot away. Fumbled the ball. The Duke defense and Reddick got there. Now to Holmes at the right wing. Holmes starts back out in the midcourt area. Now Holmes on the drive against Jones. Can't go through. Will circle back out midcourt. Now gets it off to McCants. McCants takes it inside. Stops. And he travels on the play. Ray Natelli has come in. Duhon works right side. Starts back top of the key. Drives. Bounce pass in the corner to Dante Jones. Carolina crowd thought he walked with it. Flips it down low to Williams. Sheldon Williams faking Jawad Williams. Up for the shot. No good. Ball knocked off to McCants. McCants middle of the floor. Three on two break. Carolina. McCants will work now to the left side. Goes to the wing. Keeps the dribble alive. Now to Felton. Felton tries to get inside. The double team is there, so he drops it off to McCants. McCants will come on the right-handed dribble to the middle of the floor. Between the circles, gives it back to Felton. Felton starts to drive, takes it inside, scoops it up. Oh, the glass! And it's good. Wow. Raymond Felton on a drive with a scoop shot right side. And Carolina leads 6-5 to five as David Noel reports to the table. Duhon walks it across the timeline on the left side. Carolina sticking with the zone. Now Duhon straight away picks up his dribble. Comes to Reddick on the left side. Bounces it inside to Sanders. Gives it back out to Reddick. Pull up shot well. He dumped it back to Williams. Sheldon Williams. Baseline to Duhon. Layup is good. And it's 7-6 seven to five, seven to six rather in favor of Duke. Chris Duhon on his first basket of the game. He had 12 points to go with his 10 assists in the first meeting between these two old rivals. Felton to Johnson. Left wing. Now to Manuel. Almost in the corner. Manuel coming up the left side. Trying to get into the top of the lane. Out front to McCants. McCants now against Dante Jones. Left side. McCants starts to drive. Fakes. Gives it up to Williams now. Williams against Sanders. Drives. Pull up from 10 feet. No good. Rebounded by Manuel. Manuel started back up. Felton inbounds. Baseline right. Got it to Manuel at the wing. Now to Noel to Williams. That goes to Felton. Carolina's got its starting lineup intact now. Felton trying to get inside. Got fouled by Shavlik Randolph. 
who had just come in the game for Green Trust. Felton had bounded the ball to Felton. Felton midcourt area now. Trying to get around Randolph, and a block has been called on Randolph. Now that will bring Mike Krzyzewski walking right to the edge of the coach's box to protest. And the fourth team foul on the Blue Devils. That play's working pretty good. Try to run that again. <laughs> <laughs> McKenzie to inbound the basketball. Got it to Noel. Noel works left side, drives into the lane, kicked the ball away, intercepted by Reddick. Reddick will get it now to Duhon. Duhon down on the right side. Jump pass. Tried to get it to Ewing. Deflected out of bounds. And Mike Wood getting some help from John Clockerty. Clockerty coming over saying it was deflected by Carolina. 7-6. Duke leads it. Just over 15 minutes to play in the first half. Final game of the regular season. Now to Duhon, down low to Randolph, fumbled the basketball, and a foul has been called on Williams of Carolina. Call for holding, Shavlik Randolph, that's number one on Jawad Williams, the Cleveland, Ohio sophomore, and the second team foul on Carolina. So once again, Duke goes to the baseline left, inbounds play. Duhon looking, 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 now lobs it out to Reddick, top of the key. Now he gets it right side. This is Ewing who's coming to line up now. Ewing working... On the right side, the drive, pull-up jumper off the baseline, rimmed out, and then went right back in. So Danny Ewing, Daniel Ewing, has his first basket for Duke, and it's 9-6. to six. The Blue Devil lead is 3. Felton brings it front court on the left side. He'll drop it to Manuel. Manuel whips it to the right wing to Jawad Williams. Crowd down in the corner thought that Randolph pushed Jawad Williams. Here's Williams faking up for the short jumper. Good, 9-8. to eight. Williams with his second field goal, and Bill Ford, you like that? I love those shots. Duhon works to the left side now against Felton. Bounce pass stolen away by David Noel. And we get a whistle, stopping play. And there was a foul called, I believe, down inside. And the foul has been called on Jackie Manuel for the hold. And the foul on Manuel is his first. And that will be the third team foul against Carolina. All the fans, so I don't think they even saw the foul, Mick. I think they saw Noel with the steal going the other way. That's all I saw. Duhon will inbound baseline left. Looking for a cutter, throws it over the, almost over the head of Shavlik Randolph. He made a nice catch of the ball, gets it to Ewing. Ewing out front against McCants on the right side. Tried to go low to Randolph, threw it away. On Coach K's staff as Felton brings it front court. Tariel's trail by one. Here's Felton against Dante Jones on the drive. Takes it in, tried to bounce it to Williams, got it to him. Back outside, here's McCants open for three. Too strong, rebounded Felton. Weak side pass quickly to Williams. He'll back up outside rather than try something too quickly. Now Williams picks up the dribble, needs some help, finally got it to Manuel. Manuel baseline, fall away shot, is good! Off the right baseline, Jackie Manuel. Five points and five rebounds in the first game. Makes it 10-9, Carolina. Here at the drive at the other end of the block. The basket counts by Duhon. White gets squared up as he slipped into the lane to try to draw the charge on the acrobatic Duhon. Duhon, the junior from Slidell, Louisiana, 67% shooter at the line, and he knocks it down. Duke, the fourth-best free-throw shooting team in the league overall at 70%, just slightly above. 12-10, Blue Devils lead on the three-point play. Felton across the timeline now, and we got a whistle and a blocking foul called on Dante Jones. Our check it, it's on Sean Dockery, who came in the lineup, the freshman out of Chicago who was taking Felton on the defensive assignment. Sorry, he was using that high screen to, to let Felton rub his man off of that, and Duke's fouling and, and trying to defend it. Five team fouls against Duke, four against Carolina. Felton midcourt air against Dockery. Started right, comes back to the left, gives it up to Noel. Now to McCants. McCants almost in the corner, trying to move against Duhon. Got into the lane and winds up scoring from about eight feet away. Rashad just backed him right down, backed Duhon right down to the basket almost before he scored on the turnaround jump shot. 12-12, score nodded, 13 minutes to play first half. Out front, Ewing on the drive, right side, drops it back to Sheldon Williams. He fumbled the ball, but controls it and scores. Williams with his first basket. He had no points, no rebounds, played only two minutes in the first game, but his basket just sends Duke ahead by a 14-12 score. Manual midcourt area. Working left side, gives it up to McCants. McCants looking for Williams. Can he get him the ball? He did. Williams in traffic. Puts it up. No good. They battle for the rebound. Out of there with it comes Ewing. Ewing being chased as he crosses the timeline. Left side goes back to the right. Drives down the middle. Feeds Williams, and Williams gets the dunk off the right baseline. Sheldon Williams with his second basket, and it's 16-12. to 12. The Duke lead is four. Ball inbounded with moderate pressure in the backcourt now by Dockery, and it will be Felton to work at frontcourt. 
Duke knows that Felton plays about 35 minutes a game, so they're trying to make it tough on him here in the early going. Jawad Williams for three from the left wing. Williams now with seven for Carolina, and it's 16-15. to 15. The Duke lead sliced to one. Twelve minutes to play, first half from Chapel Hill. Dockery, right side, gives it up to Dante Jones. Jones works into the top of the key, picks up his dribble. The bounce pass out front to Ewing. Ewing working now right side. McCants trying to stay with him. Looking down low, comes up top now. Here's Dante Jones. Here's the jump shot. No good. It was an air ball recovered by Manuel. Manuel coming out of there on his own dribble. Puts it over to Felton. Felton across the timeline, works left to the key, now gives it to McCants. McCants starts to drive, and a reach-in foul called on the Blue Devils. Congratulations. He can have all those jump hooks he wants. Carolina inbounding baseline left. High lob pass out in the midcourt area to Noel from Felton. Carolina down one with the ball. Noel puts the ball to the floor against Williams. Now starts to drive. Tried to go back door to Manuel. Ball stolen by Duhon. Here come the Blue Devils now racing down the left side. Duhon in the corner to Dockery on the left. He'll take it into the lane. Now dumps it back out to Ewing. Here comes Ewing. He lost the basketball, and it's recovered by McCants. Here goes McCants the other way. Now McCants will give it off to Noel. Right back to McCants for the dunk. Really? The give and go. And McCants with his second field goal sends Carolina back on top, 17-16. to 16. 11 minutes to play first half in Chapel Hill. Dockery gets the ball front court for Duke. Over now to Duhon, takes it in the lane, dropped it back to Sheldon Williams, and he gets an easy layup off the right baseline. Sheldon Williams with his third field goal, 18-17. to 17. Duke goes back on top by one. 10.35 left to play first half. McCants over to Noel. Noel looking inside. He started to drive. Ball knocked away. Noel scoops it up. He's at the baseline. Gives it to Manuel coming down the lane, and he scores left side. Jackie Manuel with his second field goal. Carolina retakes the lead. 19 to 18 and a double dribble. The scorer's table and was showing the, the double dribble, but there is no foul on the board being charged to Sheldon Williams. So Carolina's going to get the ball out of bounds. The Duke foul situation remains the same. 16 fouls. 10-15 left to play first half. Noel in the corner to McCants left side. McCants drives into the lane. Feeds weak side to Noel. Here's his jumper. No good. Long rebound captured by Jones for Duke. Off to Duhon. Duhon, quick pass, breaking layup. Good. Reverse layup was good by Sean Dockery for Duke. And the Chicago freshman has his first basket, and it's 20 to 19 in favor of Duke. Felton on the left side, in between the circles now, spins away, gets into the lane, puts up an off balance shot. That is good. Wow. Felton got the roll off the front of the rim for his third field goal and a 21 to 20 Carolina lead. Both offenses are getting better shots against either each defense. Dockery works through the center jump circle, tries to spin away from Felton, wants to give Felton a dose of his own medicine. Dante Jones, top of the key. Jones works left side. The bounce pass coming now to Duhon. Dumped it down low to Williams. Williams into the lane. Forces up the shot. No basket. Whistle and a foul called on Carolina. Shot chart look pretty incredible right now. They're getting shots from point blank range. Free throw is good by Williams. He's got seven for Duke. He'll have another one coming. Jawad was doing a good job then of making it pretty tough for Sheldon Williams to get pretty low on the low block that one foul that Mick and I thought was a foul Sheldon was trying to get to the low block and just ran completely over Jawad but if we keep him off uh, just getting too low I think we'll be okay just don't foul and make him make those shots Williams next free throw is good too he's got eight in the last six games he's averaging nearly 12 points nine and a half rebounds a game since he came on and seemed to just burst on the scene at the game in Charlottesville, Virginia, Mike Krzyzewski said he just had not shown that level of consistency during the year. But the biggest thing about him was he concentrated the entire time on defense. As he learned to concentrate on defense, his, the rest of his game got better. Carolina with the ball now, down one. Melvin Scott gives it up to Noel and a bumping foul on Randolph. Our check at Lee Melchione, who's in the game. Melchione. This game. It just need his offensive firepower. Need him fully engaged out there at both ends. He's out of the game now, but he has played fairly well so far. Noel, who scored 19 points in the first meeting between the two teams on 8 of 14 shooting, makes the first free throw to tie it at 22. He can break it right here, and he d- does not. A little bit too strong. Deflected by Felton. Recovered Noel. Back to Felton. Felton, top of the key. Off to Noel. Here's Melvin Scott for three. Yes. Got it! Melvin Scott with his first basket of the game makes it 25-22 Carolina. 
Front court, Dockery into the top of the key. Now to Reddick, who's back in the Duke lineup. And a whistle and a foul off the ball called on Byron Sanders, who was in for Carolina. He was holding Casey Sanders, and the foul on Sanders, Byron Sanders, is his first. No relation between those two arch rivals. And so Duhon will inbound baseline right for the Blue Devils. 8.43 to play first half, 25-22 Carolina. Inbounded to Reddick. Reddick getting away from Manuel. Dumps it off now to Dockery. Dockery takes it in the lane. He dumps it off to Casey Sanders, and he gets the slam dunk. Casey Sanders with his second field goal pulls Duke within one, 25 to 24. Dalton across the timeline now, right side. Dalton looking for Scott, gets it to him on the bounce pass. Reddick is there. Now Scott moves back to the right side on the wing. It goes to Felton. Raymond Felton at the foul line for Carolina. First attempt. No good. Long rebound. Pulled down by Sanders on the right side. Dropped it to Duhon. Duhon brings it front court left side to the wing. Long outside shot over Scott. No good. Rebounded by Sanders. Whistle. And a foul called on A lot of these guys and play a lot of people so far. Byron Sanders, the freshman from Gulfport, Mississippi, misses the free throw. Knocked off, recovered Noel. Out to Scott. Here's his three. No good. Noel fighting for the rebound. Noel comes down with another one. Tried to give it in the middle. Ball stolen by Duhon. And we get a whistle and a foul called on Raymond Felden for his contact with Duhon on the steal of the outlet pass. Boy, no, David Noel rebounding two missed free throws in this game, and then another offensive rebound just now after the Melvin Scott missed jump shot from right over the top of a Duke player, and he did that without fouling. Sanders is out of the game, and Williams has come back, and Felton goes to the bench with his second personal, and McCants has come back. So Carolina's going to have William, McCants, Noel, Scott, and Manuel on the floor. Duhon at the foul line for the Blue Devils. Free throw, good. Been 16 fouls already in this game. That is unreal. Nine against Duke, seven by the Tar Heels. Duhon now with six points. He'll have another free throw coming. 67% shooter. And the next one is good as well. That makes it 26 to 25 in favor of the Blue Devils with 8.03 to play. First half in Chapel Hill. Scott gets it across the timeline, well out on the left side. Now middle of the floor to Manuel. Manuel looking, will go weak side to Jawad Williams. Fake takes it into the key. Here's a fall away from 15 feet. Got the bounce off the back of the rim. Jawad Williams with 9, 27 to 26, Carolina. 7.45 to go. Now Duhon front court. On the right side, bounces it down to Dante Jones in the corner. Noel is there. Jones trying to get into the lane. Whistle and a foul on Noel. 74% after knocking in 5 of 5 on Thursday night in the win over Florida State. But he can't get this one to go. Three Tar Heels there battling for it. McCants comes up with it for Carolina. McCants gets it across the line, well out on the left side. Now starts to drive, takes it right down the lane. Pull up from 10 feet. Way off the glass is good. Great shot. Rashad McCants now with 6. 29 to 26, Carolina by 3. Duhon well out on the left side. Top of the key now to Reddick. Melvin Scott is there. Reddick gets to the foul line. Slapped away by Scott. Recovered Reddick. Reddick drops it off to Ewing. Ewing will bring it outside. Knocks McCants down. Whistle offensive foul on Ewing. Number two on him, and that's the 10th team foul on Duke with 7-0-1 to play first half. Timeout on the floor, and McCants has become the cheerleader in front of the scorer's table. 7 one to go, first half. I think the game is a little bit, a little too fast right now. Maybe a little zone defensively to slow the thing down. It's too many points. Scott gets it across the timeline for Carolina. Well out on the right side, middle of the floor, and out of McCants. McCants comes to, uh, against Duhon, comes to Noel, now to Manuel. Manuel trying to get free against Reddick. Back to Scott, now out front to Noel. Jump shot, no good. Lone rebound down underneath by Jones. He clears it to Duhon on the run down the right side past the scorer's table. Pulls up, looks down low, gets it to Williams, turns on Jawad Williams, puts up the shot, no good. McCants with the rebound. Long outlet to Melvin Scott. Runs it down in the left corner. Now Scott will bring it back up the sideline, right in front of the Duke bench on the left side. Scott will whip a pass up top now to Noel. Comes right wing to Manuel, in the corner to McCants. McCants takes it into the lane now against Duhon, backing in. Fakes up for the shot, no good, off the glass. He was off balance, took the shot against Williams, was trying to draw the foul and couldn't do it. 29 to 26, Carolina. Duhon nearly ran off and left the dribble in the midcourt area. Whips it over to Dockery now, well out on the right side. Dockery starts to his left side against Scott. 
Now it comes the pass into the low post to Sheldon Williams, and Williams hooks it up, no good, rebounded by Melvin Scott. And Jawad Williams and Sheldon Williams get tied up at the other end. They're just now getting back to the break. Here's Melvin Scott on the drive, fall away. Whistle offensive foul, Melvin Scott, called by Ray Natilli. Well, out of control. Duke does a great job getting up on your, the dribbler and anticipating the crossover dribble. If you've got the ball against Duke and you're going to change hands with your dribble, you've got to be very, very careful or, or else they can deflect it. Six Carolina turnovers now. There have been four by the Blue Devils. 29-26, to 26, Carolina holding on to that three-point lead at the 546 mark. Duhon inbounds the ball now to Dockery. Dockery will bring the ball front court on the left-handed dribble. Raymond Felton's back in the lineup now for the Tar Heels. Bounce pass to Reddick. Reddick against Manuel, trying to get in the lane. Stop. Bounce pass, got away, out of bounds. And John Clockard, he said, deflected by Carolina. Now Dockery's going to move down to make the inbounds play for the Blue Devils who are in there dark blue or black uniforms today with a royal blue trim. Here's Reddick, the catch, the jump shot, good! Boy, he just skipped Unreal. it out. If you're not right up on him, when he makes the catch, if he gets an open look, that's only a sixth field goal, or second field goal of the game for six points. Score tied at 29 all. Felton, top of the foul circle. Now over to Noel on the left side. He'll push it to Manuel. Manuel looking down low, tried to get it to Williams, threw it over his head. Turnover by the Tar Heels. Here comes Duke the other way with a chance to grab the lead. Dockery into the top of the key. Turns, comes right back inside. Tried to get it to Horvath. Ball knocked away out of bounds. Went out off Nick Horvath just in the ball game for the Blue Devils. The 6'10 junior from out of Shoreview, Minnesota. 5.04 to play in the first half. Matt Doherty giving offensive instructions from his crouch position right in front of the Tar Heel bench. Felton left side now for the Tar Heels. Starts back to the middle of the floor. Now spins, goes left. Down low to McCants. McCants turning. Turn around, jump shot. Good. Got the bounce off the back of the rim. McCants with four. He had only two in the first meeting on one of eight shooting. That's four field goals for eight points. 31 to 29, Carolina. Left side to Jones. Trying to drive on Noel. And a whistle and a foul on Noel. Well, most of the whistles that have blown today look like fouls. I mean, I think it's just that kind of game where both teams are, are fired up and intense and trying to contest everything. Dante Jones, without a field goal thus far in the game, actually without a point, gets his first point of the game. He missed a free throw earlier in the half. Jones for the Blue Devils. Shooting uh, 0 for 2 from the field. It looks like Duke's what they're trying to do now is when they don't get the ball inside on the pass, they're just going to put their head down and go to the bucket and hope a foul is called. Jones drains both his free throws to make it 31-31, to 31, 435 to play. Felton will bring it front court now for the Tar Heel against Dockery on the left side. Noel stationed out at the high post. Here comes Felton by him using the ball screen. Now Felton top the key. The lob pass down inside to McCants, faking underneath. Rivers layup is good. There was contact there by Sheldon Williams, but no foul to stop McCants' fifth field goal of the game. 33-31, Carolina. Duke works at front court. Dockery middle of the floor against Felton, coming left side. Hands it off to Duhon. Duhon gives it right back to Dockery. Back to Duhon. They dump it down low to Williams, turning into the lane. Up for the shot, and he scores to tie it at 33-all. Sheldon Williams with 10. Just under four minutes to play. Now Felton getting some instructions from Matt Doherty as he goes by the Carolina bench. Meanwhile, Mike Krzyzewski up talking to his defense at the other end. Here goes McCamp on the backdoor cut right down the middle of the lane. And he scores to make 35 to 33. McCamp with 12 in the first half on six and eight shooting. Three and a half minutes to play now. Docker in the middle of the floor got it from Duhon. Carolina's gone back to the zone. Matching up out of the zone, Duhon on the wing to Reddick, jumper from out of the corner, good for three. J.J. Reddick for his third three-pointer, and it's 36-35 to 35 in favor of Duke. Bill Ford was agonizing when you saw where he caught it, weren't you? Wide open. 3-10 to play in the half. Here's Felton, top of the key. Now gives it off to Manuel. Manuel puts it to the floor against Reddick, trying to get inside. Reddick knocked down, but Manuel goes all the way to the basket, fingertip roll. Scores on his third field goal, 37-36, Carolina. Under three minutes to play in the half. Right through the center jump circle comes Dockery. Now for the Duhon, right back to Dockery. Dockery will give it back to Duhon, to Reddick. Reddick with a jump shot before Manuel can get there off the So good, recovered. Hand on it, slapped it over the baseline. It'll be Duke's basketball, but right now we've got a timeout on the floor. 2.41 remaining to be played first half in Chapel Hill. Carolina 37, Duke 36. 
and you're listening to Carolina Basketball. Drum major in the high school band to the National Football League, and he did it mostly through hard work. And former NFL head coach Sam Weich is in the crowd today watching this battle between these two arch rivals. Dante Jones, long three, no good. Ball tapped up. They battle for it. Sanders is out there with it. The outlet to Williams on the left side. Williams coming down against Reddick. Will pull up. Give it now to McCants. Now Felton trying to get it. Boy, they're really trying to face guard Felton. Docker he is. Here's McCants on the drive. Takes it all the way into the lane. Faking up for the shot. Score! Beautiful. McCants with 14 in the first half. On 7 of 9 shooting. 39 to 36. Carolina again by 3. Car Heels have held that lead several times this afternoon. Here's Reddick, left side, takes it into the lane, dumps it off to Dante Jones, his jumper no good. Long rebound, recovered Jones, and a travel called on Jones. can drive the ball and take the ball to the basket, and we're taking great shots today. I mean, I think we're getting the ball, getting the ball in, in positions that we're going to make most of the shots that we take. One thing, though, I think we're going to have to get back defensively. Uh, they've scored a little too much in transition defense, but I think that's something that we can probably fix at halftime. Williams inbounds the ball to Felden. Felden across the timeline, right in front of the scorer's table. Works down the left sideline against Dockery. Got a ball screen from Sanders. Here's Felden for three. Oh, misfired badly off the glass. Loose basketball. Tapped outside. Picked up Williams. A 10-footer. No good. Long rebound. This time goes to Duke. Dockery's out of there with it. Dockery on the run right side against Manuel. Behind the back dribble. Feeds Duhon. Here's Jones coming baseline left side. Got into the lane. Scooped up a shot. No good. They battle for the rebound and down with it comes Manuel. Look for the quick outlet. Got it to Felden. Felden front court on the left side. Felden takes it all the way into the lane. Spins away. Dropped it to Byron Sanders. Felden now gets it right back against Reddick. Trying to move inside. Can't do it. Off it goes to McCants. McCants works baseline left side. Now he'll drop it to Williams. Williams backing in, turns off to Sanders. He drops it down to McCants. McCants reverse three. No basket. Whistle foul. Ball movement doesn't get much. No good. He'll have another shot coming. The Tar Heels at the line, only one of five in the first half. Meanwhile, Duke seven of eight. Felton not wanting to risk a third foul is going to the bench here along with McCants. Scott and Johnson are in. Manuel has another shot coming. Ready on this one, and it's perfect. He's got seven. 40 to 36, a four-point lead. Carolina looks like it's dropping back into the zone, and that's right. That back line has come well out, though, almost to the bottom of the foul circle. Ready. Left side. Ready. Top of the key. Inside. Stolen away to Sanders, to Scott. Now Scott coming down on the right. Pull-up jump shot. No good. Tapped up. No good. Tapped up again. No good. Tapped again. Loose basketball recovered by the Blue Devils. Dockery came out of there with it. 40-36, to 36. Dockery quickly front court. Tried to go front court, lost the ball, tapped it off as he was falling down to Duhon. It goes to Reddick. Back to Duhon now with 38 seconds for Mitty. Now to Reddick. He's open for a three. No good. Ball bounded high. Recovered by Sanders. Got it to Jawad Williams. We had a whistle on the play. Mike Wood. Matt Doherty a step out on the floor, making sure that Williams and Felton have got the play. They relay the offense to their teammates. Felton through the center jump circle. Now out in the midcourt area as Carolina spreads it out. Felton in the midcourt area. Keeps the dribble alive. Now Felton will go on him to the left side. Comes back out. Clock is down to 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10. Here's Felton again. Felton on the drive. Felton takes it inside. Scoops it up. It goes. Clock has three, two, one. Here's Reddick from the backcourt. It's way short. And the teams head to the dressing room on Felton's fourth final 20 minutes of this game. Point lead inbound into basketball. Williams hands it off to Felton coming to his left in the midcourt area. Now tried to bounce it back to McCants, stolen away by Jones. Dante on the drive, and it's 42 to 38. Dante Jones gets his first basket of the game after going 0 for 5 in the first half. Now Felton gets it across the timeline now. Again, works to the left wing. They've got a double team there, but Felton dribbles out of it to the top of the key. Now comes to Williams on the left wing. Williams looking right in on Sanders, goes to the baseline. Short jumper from off the baseline, no good. Sanders, or rather Williams, recovered, but put up a short shot that never really got up around the rim. And here come the Blue Devils now with a chance to maybe get within two, possibly one. Reddick outside, right wing to Jones. Jones on the drive against McCants, down off the glass, and it's 42-40. to 40. Just like that, Dante Jones has started looking for his shot now. He's got four, and it's a two-point Carolina lead in the first minute of the second half. Carolina moves the ball around the perimeter of the Duke defense. Felton gives it up to Williams. 
Now Williams faking Sanders, gives it to McCants. Now it comes to Manuel in the corner, left side, drops it back to Manuel. Manuel goes baseline, shovels it right back to Noel. Noel takes it in the lane, lost the ball, recovered by Sanders off to Duhon. Duke with a chance to tie. The Tar Heels not handling the ball very well here at the outset of the second half. Down low, backing in, spinning away from Noel. A slam dunk by Sheldon Williams, left baseline, and just like that, the score is tied. 42 all in the first 90 seconds of the second half. Felton works left side, gets back to the top of the key. Fake the backdoor pass, goes to McCants, works baseline, he's in traffic, up for the shot, and he scores. Somehow came out of the triple team. He's now 8 of 10 in the ball game for 16 points. 44 to 42, Carolina. Duke gets it across the timeline now. Dante Jones about to pass away to Williams. He has Noel on him. Brings it to the top of the key, breaks his dribble, hands it off to Duhon. Now it's off to Reddick. Long outside shots, no good. Maps over the top of the board, and Felton saved it. Bounces it to Williams, gets it right back. Hustles front court and left side. Felton off to Williams. Here's Williams, top of the key. No good. They battle for the rebound. Ball out of bounds. Saved at the baseline by Sanders. He got it to Williams. Now they flip it ahead to Duhon on the left side. Duhon wanted to give it back to Williams in the middle. Couldn't. Here's Reddick trying to drive. Ball knocked away out of bounds. Duhon inbounded ball now to Williams along the left side. Brings it up the sideline. One dribble. Noel closes in on him. He needs some help. Finally, Duhon has to come get it. Here's a long three from the wing. No good. They battle for the rebound, and Noel was there to box out Williams. Off to Felton. Felton coming front court. 44-42, Carolina. Here's Felton. Off to Noel. Noel with a lob inside, and a hold has been called on Casey Sanders. That's number two on the Tampa, Florida senior. First team foul of the second half to be whistled against Duke. Carolina's going to get the ball out of bounds baseline underneath its own goal. With the defense back in like that, now's the time that we can really run some of our plays and set some screens and things of that sort. Felton inbounding right side to Noel. Off to comes to Williams. Now to Felton. Down underneath to Noel. And he (laughs) scores before Williams could get there. You were saying, Phil? (laughs) As such. Felton now with 10. Duke with the basketball, Carolina with a four-point lead, 46-42. to 42. Dante Jones from the right wing, no good. Noel with a rebound. Off it goes to Felton. Felton pushes the ball front court, left side for the Tar Heels. Looks down inside, bounce pass to Manuel. Back out to Noel, open top of the key, got it. 49-42. to 42. It's a seven-point Duke lead as Carolina now seems to have settled down after that Duke burst at the outset of the second half. I think it just took them a little time to recognize how Duke was playing them defensively. With a little more experience, I think Raymond will be able to pick stuff up like that a little faster. 16-15, Sheldon Williams to the baseline, misses the shot. Casey Sanders with a rebound and a stick back. You almost had to look twice to make sure it wasn't a zone defense. So they're stationing themselves between their man in the basket and not their man in the ball. Casey Sanders, it wouldn't go. Rebounded by Shavlik Randolph. He puts it up, blocked from behind. They battle for the ball, loose ball. Carolina trying to come out of there with it. Felton does. Felton got out of traffic with the basketball. Felton coming front court. Got by Dante Jones. Dropped it off to Byron Sanders. And he started up for it. And Carolina thought he was probably going to dunk it, but he didn't. He went up too weakly with it. Duke blocked it. Goes the other way. Reddick in the right corner. Reddick takes it into the lane. Tried to drop it off to Randolph. It gets deflected out of bounds off Carolina. So it will belong to Duke underneath its own goal. But right now we've got a break in the action. 15.46 15.46 to play. Ewing, Ewing works up the sideline. Daniel Ewing now against McCants. Off to the cutting Duhon in the lane. Feeds it back out. The jump shot is no good. Long rebound. Duhon had it. Got it to Reddick. Manuel is right there on him. That comes right wing to Jones. They tried to set a ball screen for him. Randolph did. Here's Jones. Jump shot off the baseline is good. 49-46. to 46. Dante Jones. 0 for 5 in the first half. Has got 6 points here in the first 4 and a half minutes of the second half. Carolina with the ball now. Williams to McCants. McCants against Ewing. Gives it off to Felton. Felton against Duhon. Takes him into the lane. Lost the basketball. And John Clockard, he said it was last touched by McCants going out of bounds. And so it will belong to Duke. So the Blue Devils get the ball at the baseline. Inbounded. Carolina dropping back into a half-court set now. 49-46. to That's Carolina's 10th turnover of the game. Third of the second half. Now Duhon working out in the midcourt area to the left side. Now gives it to Reddick on the wing. Reddick, right-handed dribble, works back toward the top of the key. Now Ewing right side, down low it goes to Dante Jones. In the double team, spinning, ball knocked out of his hands, out of bounds. It'll be Duke's ball at the baseline. 14 seconds left on the shot clock. 
Mike Krzyzewski up off the bench with a call out to his offense now. Duhon will inbound off the baseline. Duhon bounce pass into Red. Caught it. He's open. Off the glass. No good. Rebound by Williams. Williams hands it to Felton. 49 to 46. That's how much respect Reddick has got. He catches it and shoots it. And you hear in the background, we're all saying, look out, look out, look out. Too much room. Sanders nearly had it knocked away. Ends it off to Felton. It comes to the right wing, right in front of the Tario bench. Gave it to Jawad Williams. Williams backs it on Dante Jones from behind the glass. It gets fouled. Got some opportunities for the other Tar Heels. Jawad Williams' free throw is good. 11th best free throw shooter in the league. He's in double figures now for a fourth straight game with his 10th point. 22 times on the year overall. 50-46. to 46. Williams will have another shot coming. Three double-doubles to this young man's credit on the year. Had only one a year ago as a rookie. Next free throw is good. That makes it 51-46. to 14-25 left to play here at Chapel Hill. Final day of the regular season. One more game to come. That'll be oh. Calvin at Virginia tonight at 8 o'clock and a foul off the ball. Whistle by Ray Natilli and the foul. Looking as everybody scattered. Got it to Ewing. Ewing dumps it back to Sheldon Williams, and Williams couldn't miss it. Recovers and scores. Jawad Williams got knocked down on the play, and Jawad's hurt. He is holding the lower part of his midsection. The bucket by Sheldon Williams is his 14th point of the game, 51-48. to 48. Here's McCants, left side. Dockery is there. McCants backs toward the sideline. Now starts into the lane and lost the basketball and it belongs to Carolina. Ray Natilli needed help at the baseline. John Flockerty saw it touch last going out of bounds off a of Blue Devil. Belton will inbound baseline left. Belton with a play call, used a hand signal to tell his teammates what they need to run. Got it to Manuel, to Williams, now to Sanders, to Belton. Belton's got Dockery behind him. Here's McCants, 17-foot jump shot, got it blocked. And falling down, Manuel reaching in to tie it up, and a timeout called for by Duke before Manuel could cause the tie-up. And you're listening to Carolina basketball. Duke's got the ball. Carolina's man-to-man as Dockery in midcourt area against Felton trying to drive and lost the basketball, scooped up by McCants. McCants, double-team, backcourt, trying to get it across. He loses the ball. Duke makes a nice save right in front of the scorer's table. Dockery takes it through the top of the key, circles back out, gives it to Jones. He drives. That shot's blocked. Ball knocked away, recovered by Duhon. He gets it back to Ewing. Ewing on the left side in the corner to Dante Jones. Jones looks inside for Williams, trying to spin away. Got into the lane, puts up a scoop shot this good. Dante Jones with eight points, now ten. Eight of which have come here in the second half. He was 0 for 5 from the field in the first half, had only two free throws. 51-50, it's a one-point game. McCants to Jawad Williams, right side, spins, turns, shoots, no good. Ball knocked outside, recovered by Ewing for Duke. Here comes Ewing on the left side for the Blue Devils, right down the lane, up off the glass, couldn't get the roll, rebounded by McCant. He protects it from Ewing, lobs it over his head to Felton. Felton comes front court on the right side now for Carolina. Felton trying to work into the lane, gives it to Manuel in the right corner. Manuel works up the sideline now, right in front of Matt Doherty at the Carolina bench. Out front to McCants, overrunning an attempted steal was Ewing. Here's Felton with a three, no good, rattled out. Rebounded by Sheldon Williams. Williams clears it away left side. Tried to get it to Duhon, but picked up by Dockery. Dockery spins away in the lane, forces up a shot that is no good. Rebounded by Felton. <laughs> now here comes Felton, middle of the floor. Now there's a reach behind, and oh, not a very smart foul. Shot, a really bad shot. Coach Krzyzewski was up getting a, getting a player before the ball even hit the rim. Here's Felton to Noel. Up top now to Scott. Scott had a notion, didn't take it, got a ball screen from... Felton moving to his left side. Pushes it right back to Felton in the midcourt area between the circles. He'll give it to Scott. Scott couldn't get the shot off against Duhon. Goes low to Sanders. Sanders backs in to Scott. Now Scott coming up the left sideline. Whips it over to Felton. Felton trying to get into the lane. Shot clock inside 10. Here's Felton from 10 feet. Throws up a prayer. No good. That ball never got up around the rim. And the travel is called on Williams. That brings Coach Krzyzewski up to the edge of the coach's box. Brings Matt Doherty out on the floor because there's an official timeout coming. Clock stopped, 11.42 to play in Chapel Hill. Carolina 51. Duke. Ewing was there, but Williams made the catch. The Sanders now to Felton. Now Felton dribbling out of the double team. Takes it in the lane, tried to give it back. Whistle foul on the Blue Devils. Foul is on Chris Duhon, I believe, and if so, that will be number two on him. Oh, check it. It's on Casey Sanders, and it's his third. 
That's the fourth team foul to be called against the Blue Devils. Felton inbounding midcourt area to Williams. Over it goes now to Sanders. Sanders back door to Felton. Layup is good. Pretty. Raymond Felton now with 12 points for Carolina. 53-50. Heels back on top by three. 11.20 to go. Duhon on the left side. Against oh. Felton. Now to Reddick. Noel is there. Down low and we get a whistle and a foul is called on Byron Sanders for using the forearm play. Everybody scatters. He looks. He looks. He looks. He looks. He looks. Finally pushed it in. Midcourt area to Sanders. Or to Dante Jones. Here's Jones dropping it off to Duhon. Duhon tries to take it in the lane. Shoots a floater. That's good. Chris Duhon gets his first basket of the second half. He's got nine and it's 53-52 with 11 minutes to play. Felton off to Scott left side. Now to Jawad Williams. Williams shooting over the top with Dante Jones and scoring. Jawad Williams now with 13, and it's 55-52 Carolina. Good lesson for young players, especially perimeter players. When you catch the ball, face the basket, then you can do something with it. Duhon, midcourt area. Away to Ewing. Down low it goes to Sheldon Williams, backs in on Sanders, wow. puts up the shot right over the top of him, and it's good. He's strong. 16 for Sheldon Williams. 55-54, Carolina lead again, cut to one. Felt it. Midcourt area to Noel. Back on the right side to Scott against Duke's man-to-man. Dwight Williams, top of the key, looking for Felt it. Finally, and a whistle, mm-hmm. and a foul called on the Blue Devils, I believe. I think that was Ewing off the ball. He grabbed, grabbed a hold of Felton, yeah. Yeah, it was. It was on Daniel Ewing, and that's number four on the Missouri City, Texas sophomore. Fifth team foul to be called against Duke here in the second half. Mike Krzyzewski's going to let him continue to play. Inbounded, baseline right, out in the midcourt area. Felton sails it out to Scott. Goes back to Felton. Felton now trying to get into the lane. Does. Hands it off to Jawad Williams. Short Pretty. jump shot, good. Eight feet away, left baseline. 57-54. Carolina by three at the 10-minute mark. And we get a whistle and a foul off the ball. Duke inbounding baseline left. Duhon lobs it out to Williams. Comes right side to Jones. Jones against Jawad Williams on the drive. Blocked away, Sanders. Jawad Williams was there, and Sanders came up from behind out of the low post. Slapped it in the media row. Duke's basketball. 10-04 10-04 to play in the ball game. 57-54 Carolina. A block shot is like a block punt in football. It can really energize the team that blocks it. Sixth block of the game. Here's Dante Jones, and he knocks the bottom out of it. And then raises the roof here in the Smith Center, and the Carolina fans respond with a chorus of boos. 57-56. 9.50 to go. Carolina one-point lead. Noel, jump shot. No good. Long rebound. Recovered Sanders. Got it to Felton. Now it goes low to Williams on the left side. Williams backing in. Travel with it. Left side to Reddick. Here's the jumper. It's good. And it's 59 to 57 in favor of Duke as Reddick knocks in his fourth three-pointer of the game. 9.25 to go. Felton brings it across the timeline as McCants waits at the table to get back in for the Tar Heels. Now Felton. Dribbling the ball, moving to the right wing now, looking down inside. Now Felton will drop it off to Scott. Long three. Good! Melvin Scott sends Carolina back on top, 60-59 to with his second three of the game. And here's the baseline drive. Out to Williams. Williams in the lane against Sanders. Put it up. No good. Williams trying to follow back up and scores. And we get a whistle and a foul on Sheldon. His space plus some of Byron's, then the, the defense has no chance. Nine double-figure efforts for this young man. Three of his last five. Here's the free throw. No good. Went over the top of the backboard, and it'll belong to Carolina. 61-60, Duke with a one-point lead. Four ticks of the clock under nine minutes to play in Chapel Hill. Williams inbounds to Felton. Felton across the timeline. Sails a pass down to McCants. He drives, scores on the layup, gets fouled. And McCants comes up the left side like, whoa, did you see that? And the students in the east end zone are enjoying it immensely. A lot of those folks stayed in Chapel Hill over the weekend when spring break started to be here for this game. And McCants will go to the free throw line trying to make the three-point play. McCants, 9 of 12 from the field. 
62-61, free throw, good! McCants has got 19, it's the best game he's had since his 21 at Virginia. Or against Virginia here in Chapel Hill. He's had 16 a couple of times since then. 63-61, Ewing trying to get inside against Scott. Reddick, top of the key. Noel is there, Reddick starts to drive right side. Now it's off to Sheldon Williams, back to Reddick. Reddick moving to the right. Noel trying to stay with him. Down low, and we got a whistle and a foul against Carolina. Trying to bump him a little bit. Duhon to inbound off the inline. Baseline right. Got it into Jones in the corner against McCants. Now trying to drive. Jones into the lane. Puts up the shot. McCants was there. Jones recovers. Lost it. Recovered again. Felton is hurt. Here's Jones for the shot to send Duke into a tie at 63 all. And Felton is down on the floor. Like Raymond got popped in the nose or mouth. There is some blood on the Smith Center floor. Felton is down on his stomach, comes up now on his feet and stands up. And Mark Davis, the veteran Carolina trainer, wants to take a close look at him. Dante Jones, aggressive off the offensive glass, recovered his own missed shot. Uh-oh, we got a, a near right, fight here in front of the Duke bench. And we've got the players coming off the Duke bench and some Carolina guys shoving and pushing each other as well. And Matt Doherty got there, and so did Mike Krzyzewski. Now and Bob McKinnon, one of the Carolina assistants, is down there. Johnny Dawkins came out off the Duke bench. Officials Clockerty and Nutelli have stepped into the midst of it as well. The Duke coach is trying to calm their bench, and Matt Doherty and his assistants got down to pull McCants and Scott apart. Now, Coach Krzyzewski is talking to Rashad McCants. This is a little odd. Now, John Clockett is going to walk Rashad McCants back toward the Carolina bench. Well, this may take a while to sort out. Now we Oh, it was Matt and uh, Chris Collins bump Coach gave Darty a, Coach Darty a chest bump. What brought Coach Darty down in the vicinity of the Duke bench was, of course, that he can leave the bench to check on his own player. Raymond Felton was injured in that area. <laughs> well, Matt Darty said something to Chris Collins, and Collins started back on Darty, and Darty faced up to him for a second, and then he backed off. Well, what happened, though, fellas, too, was that a, a, no, it would be Carolina's ball after the Dante Jones bucket. So we come out of this with both teams having 17 fouls, 8-10 to play, score tied, 63 all. Melvin Scott away to Manuel. That goes to McCants. McCants, top of the key, takes it inside, 10-foot jump shot, no good. Rebounded by Sheldon Williams inside. He protects the ball, gets it away now to Duhon. Duhon brings it front court on the left side for the Blue Devils. Takes it to the wing right in front of the Blue Devil bench. Straight Looking in. down low. Got it to Williams. Noel is right there. Williams uses his arm to get around him. Puts up the shot. Oh, no good. Rebounded. Down inside. Shot put up. No, no foul good. line where he's two of three on the day. This is almost exactly where the game in Durham was. Free throw. No good. It was 61-61 in Durham February 5th. Just inside eight minutes. Here it's tied at 63 at 7:45. 13th best free throw shooter in the ACC. Jones arches this one up, and that one's good. And it's 64-63 in favor of Duke. 13 points now for Dante Jones, including 11 in the second half. Felton gets it across the timeline right side. Now he comes back to the left. Scott's gone to the bench now with Felton's return to the lineup. Felton working against Duhon. Now the bounce pass down inside to McCants. McCants spinning, shots up, good. Rolled it in over the left side of the rim. McCants has got 21. 65-64. Carolina on top again by a single point. Duhon brings it front court now for the Blue Devils. Puts it to Reddick. Reddick takes it into the lane. Ten-foot jumper. Good. No good. Front of the rim. Rebounded by Felton. He rips it away from Sheldon Williams. Brings it all front court. Long outside shot. Good. 68 to 64 on Felton's three. His first of the ball game. And he's got 15. 6.55 to play. Duhon. Away to Jones on the right wing. Carolina man to man. Duhon working. Or Dante Jones working against Williams. To Ewing. 
to Duhon, back to Ewing, drives right side, shots up, and it fell in. And we're going to stay right here at the Smith Center. 10 of 20 in the second half, Duke 14 of 31. Carolina with a two-point lead in the ball. McCants on the left side to the baseline. Tried to put up the shot, and it got knocked out of bounds, and it went out off of Ewing. It'll be Carolina ball. And Rashad McCants asking John Clockerty why there wasn't a contact foul on that play. Clockerty explaining to him that they'd reached over to try to tie him up, and it knocked the ball out of bounds. Felton will inbound. Baseline left. Pushes it in to Jawad Williams. He'll give it to Noel. Noel against Sheldon Williams. Now he wants to go to Felton, cutting into the lane. Felton leaning in, shots off the glass, no good. Rebounded by Felton, up and in! 70-66. to 66. Felton on the inbounds with his 17th point. 6-10 remaining to be played in Chapel Hill. Carolina leads by four. Duhon down the sideline to Jones on the left. Drives baseline. Got a two-handed dunk by the time help defense realized it needed to be there. Jones had gotten a slam dunk for his 15th point. 70-68. Manuel left side on the pass from Felton. Gives it up to Noel. Pushes it back to McCant. Starts into the lane. 10 feet away. Scores. 72 to 68. McCant with 23. Yeah, I don't know about you guys, but I'm like a happy Rashad McCant. <laughs> <laughs> Five and a half minutes to play. Down in the corner. It goes to Ewing. Ewing against McCant. Works up the sideline on the left. Down the... Whip the pass over to Duhon. Duhon looking inside for Sheldon Williams. Ewing from well out. No good. They battle for the rebound. Loose ball. Manuel makes a dive for it. Right at the sideline. It went out of bounds. Belton taking the inbound pass from McCants. Working up the middle of the floor. McCants coming up the left side. Wants crowd noise. McCants gives it up to our Manuel gives it up to Williams. Now back out in the middle of the floor to Felton. That goes over to McCants. Coming up the right side. Now McCants with a bounce pass to Noel. Fumbled it. Caught it. Got it to Williams. Williams dumps it down low. Got knocked out of bounds by Williams. It'll be Carolina ball at the baseline. It's interesting. Now Duke's in a zone. Well, they showed zone, you remember, at the end of the first meeting over in Durham when they started to build the lead, forcing Carolina to a lot of perimeter shots. Noel to inbound the basketball. Got it into Jawad Williams. Out front to Manuel. Manuel on the drive into the lane. Tried to go up for the shot. Ball knocked oh. away. Recovered by Duke. Manuel trying to get it back. Duhon comes front court with it. The double team is there, and Duke takes a timeout. The Blue Devils will be left with one timeout, the final 445, while Carolina has four remaining. So we've got a 30-second timeout call by Dean Williams with 15 lead the Tar Heels. 18 for Sheldon Williams, 15 for Dante Jones for Duke. Jones, baseline on the right side, can't get through. Now the lob pass inside to Sheldon Williams. They got a double down. Williams falling, saved it to Ewing. Out to Duhon, a long three, no good. Long rebound taken down by Williams at the left oh, baseline. Oh, oh. And he knocked Noel down and got the slam dunk against Jawad Williams. Sheldon Williams now with 20 points, and it's 72 to 70. 4.15 remaining to be played as Felton brings it across the timeline with Carolina holding only a two-point lead. Felton will start up from the left side. Got a ball screen from Noel right at the top of the key. Felton now dribbling to his left side. Flips it back to Manuel. Manuel out in the midcourt area will give it to Noel. That comes to Felton. Felton baseline into the lane. Tried to drop it off. And the ball got stolen away by Reddick. Here comes Duke the other way. Reddick down the right side. Feeds du- uh, Jones, rather. Here's Jones' shot. Off the front of the rim, no good. Rebounded Jawad Williams with 3.41 to play. Gets it to Raymond Felton. Felton got into the lane, but got into a lot of traffic, lost the basketball. Three and a half minutes to play. Felton moves to the right side to set it up. Duke is in the zone now. Almost a 2-1-2 look about it. Now it goes on the wing to McCants' right side. McCants will give it right back to Felton. Felton. Using the screen by Williams to bounce pass over to Manuel. Down low to McCants. McCants right back to Manuel. Out front to Felton. Over to Williams. Here's his three. No good. And Noel tried to make the save, but it goes out of bounds and it'll belong to Duke. And with that, we get a whistle and a timeout here at the Smith Center. 3 10 remaining to be played. Score Carolina 70. Wide open in the middle. We can definitely get the ball in the middle of this zone. Too hot across the timeline against Felton, working left side, gets it to Reddick. Here's a long three that is no good. McCants with a rebound. He gets it to Felton, 2.55 to play. Felton across the timeline, right side for Carolina, 72-70. Heels lead the Blue Devils. Now it goes to Noel, knocked away by Sheldon Williams into the Tar Heel bench. It'll be Carolina ball on the right wing. 
McCants going over now to make the inbounds play. That Doherty out of his chair, steps to the right, to the edge of the coach's box now. Inbounded to Felton, out of McCants. Now back to Felton against the Duke zone. Felton on the right side, coming top of the circle, dropped it off to Jawad Williams. Williams looking inside, ball knocked away, tried to go to Manuel, flashing into the lane, ball got knocked away. Duke with the ball now, chance to tie, maybe go up by one, dump down low to Sheldon Williams. Spins, knocked away Noel out of bounds at the baseline. It'll belong to Duke out of bounds, baseline left. 2.26 to play, a two-point game, 72-70. Duhan will be the guy that inbounds. It's going to be baseline right instead, says Ray Natilli. Bounced it in on the inbounds play, and they roll it in. Ewing ties the score at 72-all. Off the inbounds play, that's only his third goal of the game. Kelton across the timeline through the center jump circle. Working now to the left side against the zone. Now Felton down the sideline to McCants. McCants holding it high. Goes right back to Felton with it. Ewing is right there. Uses a screen set by Williams, top of the key. Now to Williams. Williams, one dribble, then the jump pass over to Felton. Goes to McCants. McCants didn't take the shot. Crowd buzzing a bit when he passed it up. Now here's Felton. Shot clock is down to five. Back it goes to Jawad Williams. Long three. Bounce high over the top of the backboard. No good. And it'll belong to Duke with 1.47 to play. Tarios looked a little tentative against that zone. Guys stationary and ball begging instead of moving sharply without the ball. Duhon will walk in front court now for the Blue Devils. Duke trying for its seventh win in a row over Carolina. Win number five in a row here in the Smith Center. Duhon or Dante Jones off the baseline. Missed the shot. Ewing with the rebound. Feeds to Duhon. We're going to whistle. Gotta get something good Williams here. inbounds the ball to Felton. What would be good? Bill Ford. Well, I don't know their plays, but something, a, a zone play into your freelance zone offense with some penetration. Felton jumps it right back out to McCants. Long three. Good! Rashad McCants with 25. Go back to court. 75 72. Duke brings it front court. Duhan, top of the key. Off it goes now to Ewing. Ewing with a long outside shot to tie. Misfires. Williams has got the rebound, saves it, taken away by Felton, pitches it ahead to Manuel. Manuel goes into the lane, driving, layup, 77-72, less than a minute to play. Now it's Duhon down the left side, takes it all the way down, and we got a whistle. Was there a timeout call? It looked like Duke was asking for a timeout. John Clarkerty motions everybody back. John Clarkerty thought Duke had called a timeout. 46.3 46.3 seconds, 33 left on the shot clock. 77-72. Ball inbounded to Ewing. Ewing using a screen by Williams out top, moves right. Here's Ewing trying to drive. Feeds it back to Duhan. Duhan backing up outside, off to Ewing. Ewing got underneath McCants. Ball slapped away out of bounds, and it went out off Noel, says Ray Matilli. It'll be Duke ball, baseline right. Jawad Williams asking for the crowd to be a factor. Actually, baseline left. Duhon will inbound, got it in to Dante Jones, long three is good, 77 to 75, and now... Jawad Williams looking, got it into Raymond Felton. Clear out. Felton is right there, trying to get it front court, spins away, puts it over to McCants, now McCants will give it right back to Felton. Now we get the whistle and the foul with 24.1 seconds remaining, and the foul was called on Dockery, and that will be his third. And Felton will go to the line now with one and one. Yeah, Duke, That's the ninth team foul against the Blue Devils. Duke here, they're, they're looking for possessions. They, they want there to be many more uh, possessions in this game than do the Tar Heels. Felton is a 70% free throw shooter. 0 for 1 in today's game. Tar Heels will not occupy the lane spaces. Here's Felton's first. 78 to 75. We need a defense now to take some time off the clock. You know, Melvin Scott is in for a shot. McCants, Felton ready on the next one. Free throw. Good. 79 to 75. 19 points for Felton. 
And we got a timeout on the floor. Pick it up. Now Duhon works down the right side. Hands it off to breaking Reddick. Reddick will dump it right back to Jones. Jones trying to get in the lane. And he a foul called on Carolina. Duke has stolen a lot of these games over the years. The Tar Heels want this game so badly. The fans do. The players, you can just feel the tension in the arena right now. Jones ready on the first one. Senior from Trenton, New Jersey. Arches it up. Good. 79 to 76. He'll have another shot coming. 19 points now for Jones, who came out averaging 17 a game as the fifth leading scorer in the league. He could bring Duke within two, and he does at 79 to 77. And Duke's putting in a defensive substitution right now. Dockery has come in the lineup, and Jones will go out. They did that to stop the clock so Duke could set their defense. Inbounded to Ooh. Noel, got it right back to Williams, and he was just inbound when he caught the ball. Tried to get it to Noel, and we got a whistle on a two of his last nine. He is 12 of 31 at the line. He got, Carolina gets off the lane. Got to have one. Two would be lovely. Noel ready on the first one. Good. 80 to 77. He looked good on that. He didn't take much time with it. <laughs> Raymond stepped into the top of the key to slap his hand. Mike Krzyzewski is trying to tell his team what to do on the make or miss. 9.5 seconds remaining. Durham's David Noel. Ready on the next one. Good. 81 to 77. A four-point game. Ball inbounded, but Carolina had called a 30. Running the baseline is Dante Jones. Got it inbounded to Duhon coming front court. Duhon down the side, puts up an off-balance shot. That is good. And it's 81-79. Inbounded, Jawad Williams to Raymond Felton, and the foul is called on Dante Jones. Boy, the Blue Devils got it down floor and got a quick bucket. Three seconds remaining on the clock. It's much easier to drive against a man than it is a zone. Now, now you got, well, if Felton makes the first, I got a question for you. Okay. Here's his first one. It's on the way. Good. 82-79. And the question. Go oh. back to the foul thing if he misses the second one. Yeah, I mean, would he, would he yeah. It, you know, uh, that's just such a hard thing to say because, Mick, there's so much pushing and shoving going on. You know, we've got a play that we missed the first one, hit the first one, missed the second one on, on purpose and play Archie. Misses this one, rebounded by the Blue Devils. Here they come. Raymond Felden trying to get in front of him, shoots an off balance shot. Good. Did it count? Did yeah, it count? It off. I don't think he got it off. Did it count? The ball goes in. Are they going to look at the monitor? Students are flooding the floor, but I'm not sure the game's over. The officials are still on the floor. I saw the clock go to all zeros, and I saw with my naked eye the ball still in in Jones' hands. Well, Mike Krzyzewski has acknowledged that it was late, but the officials are still on the floor. The clock makes no difference. It's when the horn went off. Ball dropped through the net. The clock was on triple zero, but Nick, you say you had to look at it. Well, you're right. It is the horn. It was so loud in here. I don't think anybody could hear the horn, but you can see the red light. The red light is goes off or goes on, and the horn sounds when the clock goes to all zeros. What a game. What a performance by the Tar Heels pulling the upset over the 10th-ranked Blue Devils. Well, the officials are leaving the floor, so it's official. 